particularly in conservation tillage or no-till systems, which are becoming more prevalent in cereal growing areas around the world because of their environmental and economic benefits. The mycelium of Rhizoctonia solani can freely colonize the undisturbed soil, drawing nourishment from plant debris. But the fungus is also well prepared for adverse conditions. It forms compact structures consisting of tightly packed hyphae. These sclerotia can survive in soil for years until they finally germinate. The hyphae are attracted by chemical stimulants released from the roots of young host plants. Colonization of the root surface begins with long, sparsely branched hyphae called runner hyphae. These aggregate, forming a dense cushion. From this infection cushion, hyphae grow downward. With the aid of enzymes, the fungus destroys the intercellular cement. Gradually, the root tissue dissolves. The resulting macerated cells provide a rich habitat for the fungus. Depending on when and how severely the roots are damaged, seedlings may die either by pre-emergence damping off or post-emergence damping off. Many plants survive the infection, though their root system is significantly reduced. The roots are shortened, having typical brown spear tips at their ends. As a consequence, the plants cannot take up enough water and nutrients, which leads to a reduction of yield. The stunted plants are often present in the field in patches, hence the name Rhizoctonia bear patch. Yield losses are proportional to the total area affected and can be as high as 50%.